All right, part two of my collection. This is a Bob Tertrola and Brian Filhofer collaboration, and uh, it's probably uh, Bob's first um, flipper. It's called a Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil. There. Carbon fiber scale, liner lock, titanium box spacer, and contoured and chambered. Big, thick uh, stick with this um, very, very aggressive ribbon uh, play design. And non clip, exposing clip, uh, non screw clip, perfect center, awesome flipper. This is a fun knife. I like it a lot. Um, black pivot and uh, anodized and blasted uh, screws. Very beautiful piece of work. Excellent work. Uh, I don't believe they made a lot of these. Um, I don't know, probably maybe 12 or 20, something like that. And then we have ooh, ooh. oh this is this is a big one. <clears throat> this is the RC Strider RC model. Uh, this is a collaboration work between Mick Strider and Warren Thomas. I believe there's only what maybe two or three around. I have only seen another one, so uh, that's my guess. Full titanium um, and the carved textured by Mick. Both sides. Nice anodized color. You can see a nice texture also. Titanium back spacer. And the blade is by Warren Thomas. Full titanium with carbonized uh, edge. And carbon fiber only these are beautiful beautiful knife perfect lockup smooth chisel grind nice collection uh, nice collector's knife All right, we have a Yen Zanzo. This is another one of my grails. Mojo, full custom. Uh, Jen did this uh, under my specific um, options. Mokutai, blasted. Mokume, blasted and his famous uh, Yen Zanzo pattern. Another Mokotai clip carved, a big chunk of Mokotai with his pattern, blasted and colored pivot and all the hardware screws and the thumb stud also, hand rubbed blade and asymmetrical. These two sides are not the same. Very thick stock of a uh, blade. Not sure what steel it is. It's in my email. <laughs> awesome box spacer. Also, uh, Mokutai. With the uh, space box spacer in between. Very, very uh, heavy knife and uh, with a big ch big hole here for lanyard. Uh, very substantial in the hand. Uh, you feel you got something in the pocket. This is just the, one of those wow type of knife. Perfectly functional also. It's a liner lock. It's centered, perfect centering. I love this knife, seriously. Love it a lot. I'm going 
to wrap it and put it back into. Leong Ma GSD Get Shit Done Line Lock by David Mosier. This is what he I'm putting it the spot. Okay. Um being in my safe since I got it. Excellent knife. Um this one of the uh, my favorite uh, favorite design again uh, from Leo Ma and uh, CRKT they are selling the uh, production version of this knife now it's a frame lock I like this one this is a uh, liner lock with bolster and carbon fiber uh, titanium carved out pocket clip uh, same same uh, lining fast action and pretty nice hand drop very comfortable in the hand about 3.5 inches uh, perfect for I use a lot of uh, I use a lot of the word perfect um, uh, it's it's really good for um, EDC task or even um, so defense um, situations all right so let me clean it again and back in the bag Okay. David Mosier, a uh, Persian. This is a very very large knife. Nice uh, pocket clip, box spacer G10, a lining stripe carbon fiber scale with orange peel or eggshell uh, textured uh, titanium bolster. That is a big knife and a very intimidating one. Nice curve, nice Persian style uh, blade or scimitar style blade. Great jim pin, awesome uh, lock, liner lock, center, perfect. Very, very fast um, knife for the size. And the, uh, the weight. I'll fit it later. Okay, we have a uh, fixed blade. Yeah. Mixed riders. Fixed blade. I don't know who will hang this on his neck, but it's there. I want this uh, from a Good Cause Action. Uh, that's a lifter's uh, stingray leather, handmade by lifter. Very nice uh, sheet. This is um, SLCCXL. I, I I believe that's the name, or XXL. Hand ground by Mick. Strider S30B steel with his nightmare grind, very sharp, very crazy grind, and uh, sincerely, it's a huge, it's a very out of proportion uh, style, uh, style knife, but it's very beautiful. You get a lot of blade with very short handle, and uh, this handle is pimped or not pimped but uh, modified by um, Steel Flames owner he donated this knife he's a really nice guy good guy actually um, that's the darkness uh, skull I believe it's bronze very very cool that's a dragon head speed and uh, angel wings a bit they sell these uh, through his website um, they can go uh, Steel Flame that come this is one awesome knife I don't use it if you guys are interested 
we can have a deal. Okay, um, I honestly forgot the name of the maker. Um, I got this, oh, it's right there. Corey Schumann. Uh, this is a very, um, how to say, um, artistic type folder. Uh, nice bone. I believe these are bones with uh, ball tints. Pretty thin. Um, these are stainless bolster with texture and high polish it's as assisted um, as you can see it's assisted so it's very fast very very fast and that will be on the thumb stud dama steel beautiful dama steel jewel liners you can see it but it's their jewel Another ruby and a very beautiful made, uh, handmade backspacer. And it's not overly expensive actually. Um, very nice knife for the price. Okay, this is another uh, maker from South Africa. Mr. Arnold, John Arnold, it uses IKBS, uh, this is a tooth, I believe they're a mammoth tooth, a mol molar, mammoth molar, um, titanium, bolster maybe, I believe they are, maybe stainless, uh, nicely gold anodized, blasted, and the edges are polished to give it a uh, special effect type of look glow in the dark dot carbon fiber box spacer with skull crusher and a hole for lanyard nicely um, done clip it's a liner lock and it's a front flipper which means uh, you flip it from here Very, very nice dual tone blade also and uh, cool one clip style uh, or ship's foot style right Warren Thomas, model 2.5, very EDC friendly, full titanium, uh, block bar, titanium uh, clip, bro uh, carbon fiber scale, titanium blade with uh, carbon fiber only, non-magnetic. Uh, Another cool and very light. This is like what three point some ounces. Very very light. Oof. Gary Mag McGuinness. Type R, recurve, peligro, uh, that's the model name. Uh, peligro means uh, danger uh, in Spanish. Uh, this is um, my first full custom knife from Gary. He is a genius, one of the youngest and the best knife maker I know. And this is a uh, Chan Nichols Mokotai, nicely colored, not Obu, like uh, most uh, Chad's knife. Nice clip, also Mokotai, carved, very shiny actually, and excellent 
flipping action. Uh, these are he uses um, Teflon washers, I believe, on these. Or let me see. Yeah, they're Teflon washers, and the flipping action is just perfect. It's, uh, this is one of those knives that makes me wonder uh, why people need uh, bearings. Seriously, I mean, why do you need bearings? Look at that. Non-bearing. He's a genius. Okay. Next. Warren Thomas Persian, I think it's model 19. I got this from a online dealer. Again, I'm a Warren uh, fan. Very, very nice uh, and light blade. A very long reach actually. A bit fragile on the tip, but this is a tactical knife. So, you know, fighting knife actually. Titanium with his uh, urban camo finish and uh, G10 on this one another Persian and uh, this is this one is um, custom by me uh, it's it has a little bit of tantal style blade titanium uh, thumb stud titanium pivot um, carbon fiber scale another carbon fiber scale here uh, just to for the to prevent the low bar to uh, over extend uh, feels really good in a pocket a bit thick very strong on this one that's a big thick titanium blade chisel ground and non magnetic it's, I love the, the pistol type of what it here. It's just very, you know, bites in when you do the slicing action. Love this knife. You don't see a lot, a lot of uh, Warren's uh, knife lately. Um, I don't know I don't, what happened to him. I just hope he makes more knives. Um, this is a custom, well, semi-custom. This is a large. Uh, CQC7 by Warren Thomas He did a batch of these knives um, not a lot very light uh, Opens really quick actually it opens better than uh, some of uh, Emerson knife uh, itself Full titanium Stand up instead of backspacer Titanium blade also with the carbon fiber overlay love this knife Another Terzuola. This type it has the. I think these are Prevan uh, Elephant Ivory Mokotai Textured Bolster. There's a line here if you guys can see. Also, it's uh, 18 or 24K gold. Another awesome flip carved and texture same with the thumb stud nice checkering on the side Makotai um, skull crusher this time no hole this is the ATCF model and it's a Tanto CPM 154 uh, Mr. Tatsula uses a lot of those that steel 
Hello ground. Beautiful. Beautiful knife. This is one of his uh, best designs. Line lock. Perfect centering. Um, perfect on everything about this knife. Another great collector piece. I don't use it. So let's put it back. Here, uh, workhorse titanium frame lock tip down carry, and he it uses his uh, tab lock, and that's a very, very funny uh, tab lock. If you open this, unlock it, it can actually go up. It's a T lock, so the, the, the lock, ta um, lock the serves as the detain balls, uh, not the detain ball, the blade stopping thick chunk of titanium nice hollow ground hollow grind D2 steel buoy style perfect centering very very um, uh, tough knife it's a very very thick uh, blade steel blade steel what we got now RJ Martin Slim. Uh, this is a devastator uh, Slim. I got this uh, personally from uh, Mr. Martin. Another excellent big tactical folding knife. Uh, flipping action, perfect as always. Uh, he uses a roller uh, thrust bearing system and very sharp. He makes Mr. Martin makes the sharpest knife you can get. G10 back spacer, lightning strike, carbon fiber inlaid, and this is like a four and some inches long blade. Perfect. Perfect. Mr. Tertulla TNK collaboration. Uh, this is the Century Star, one of my favorite carry. Um, carbon fiber scale, very very light for a four inches long blade. Thumb stud, both side, nice, uh, very functional thumb stud. Centering, okay. Uh, nice uh, uh, pocket clip, very slim. Um, G10 backspacer and uh, a medallion. Medallion here, Century Starfighter. Uh, I love this knife. The action is really good. Uh, you can deploy it fast or you can deploy it slow. Perfect lockup also. No movement, no um, mumbo jumbo. Solid knife. One of my favorites from uh, Mr. T. Now, no, I think I'll show you guys this at the end because they are too cool. This is Peter. Uh, Peter, Peter, I forgot his H. Ferrum, I think that's uh, his last name. And this is first um, integral slip joint uh, bamboo style folder and uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, this is just a very very cool knife um, it's a slip joint so you can drop this in the pocket uh, it will not open because you really have to pull it open and uh, look at that titanium carved uh, bamboo texture style handle it's just beautiful everything's custom 
in this knife everything pivot stopping blade hand bobs it's just beautiful of this knife I don't use it it's a shame but you know what else do I have am I missing anything yeah. okay we have a strider here uh, this is not the custom version but it's a limited version it's a hybrid uh, TNK uh, collaboration with the contour CC here on this side and the Lego version on this side with American flag and S110B love that steel very smooth actually very smooth knife another Warren Thomas knife this is real uh, which means uh, dragon in Japanese and that uh, this is first knife also or not first knife but um, one of his uh, first uh, real knife chisel ground titanium clip titanium frame lock titanium uh, what pivot titanium hardware titanium blade titanium thumb stud and um, how do you call that um, Teflon washer completely rust proof scary as hell for you know s stabbing slicing whatever and very light this is like four ounces knife and that's a that's a that's a four inches blade full titanium blade he didn't make a lot of those um, it's a shame that's a very very nice knife we have another Leon Ma design this is the David Sharp uh, May knife that's a Leon Ma trademark I like it very much titanium frame lock uh, with my card that feel really smooth in the hand very uh, simplistic look knife but uh, a lot of thought has been put into it uh, as you can see the action is great you can open it with thumb stud uh, you can open it with this uh, groove or you can open it with uh, um, flipper tap here so I believe he calls it the triple thread and that's a nice name for it uh, my card that box spacer here and lower right clip it's a pretty nice knife actually fun knife to play you will not get bored because um, <laughs> you have three ways to open the knife Here we got Joe Caswell's EDX uh, first production. Beautiful industrial type looking folder. Uh, EDX stands for EDC Extreme. And um, he uses a lot of uh, industrial design in this one. The blade tang, the blade handle uh, is not the same thickness here as here. Um, this is a very wide, uh, ship, ship's foot style, uh, flat ground blade, which is very, very useful. Um, and because of the wide uh, blade style, you can do a lot of uh, chopping, slicing, and you know, removing stuff. Big thumb stud here, uh, also for stopping the knife. And the clip, as you see, uh, rests inside once uh, the knife is open. To, to close the knife, you push this bar up, and then you can close it. And look at that clip, magically appears. 
Okay, let's do that again. You open it, the clip disappear. You close it, the clips appear. And the good thing about this clip is that uh, you can have it for right hand, right side pocket clip, or uh, right side pocket or left side pocket. So that's a very genius uh, style clip. Can you open it with one hand and close it with one hand? Yes, and it's a little bit of practice, but yes, you can do it. Great design. Joe needs to make more of this. Okay, my phone. One second. Alright, back to the video. Putting this back. Alright, what else do we have here? Strider SNG. A very, very rare combination. S110B. Steel. Um, with this uh, galactic, uh, I mean Arctic gray G10. This is a one top knife and one top skill. Not top, but uh, height in uh, edge retention. What do we have here? This is a Warren Thomas dagger. Double edges, double edged. Very, very scary uh, dagger, actually. And very, very light and very, very thick. Beautiful. Small neck knife by Warren Thomas also. Small kill lash. I have a pad TAD SNG here. Spear grind. Dual gunner grip on both sides. Green G10. And a switch on top. Very light and fun knife. Chat Nichols friction folder here. Very good knife for the price he asked. It's a really really cool Damascus. Chad is um, Chad Nichols. He makes a lot of uh, awesome. Damascus and he rarely makes knives so this knife uh, this knife is definitely definitely a letter's piece oh well you have seen my uh, large Sabenza with snake with inlay again love this knife Julius uh, Shoup, he's a, I, I believe he graduated already, and uh, this is one of his knives. This is a nice, this is a nice light um, EDC. A lot of uh, details in this knife. A little bit of problem with the lock bar because I believe he cut it too thin. 
Bad. Great Kyrie. Got a Shirogorov model 111, highly polished S90B steel liner lock or yeah, liner lock or tap lock if you want to call it. Titanium backspacer or oh, not? Nah, this is a stainless backspacer. One of the first version uh, with the washer, but actually it flips really, really smooth. Great large knife, really great. Shrugoffs, they make one of the best knives actually. Really happy I will have a few of them. We have a Scott Cooks knife up next. This is a uh, this is this is Scott Cooks a non-standard um, Luxa full integral plastic polished with. Um, Model of pearl inlay, carved. Uh, this is a snake skin carving with the pearl the inlay on the pivot. Custom pivot, custom clip. Uh, that's a 14K, I believe, or 18K uh, gold thumb stud with glass bit um, uh, texture and uh, snake skin texture on top. It's a S90B steel. Perfect lockup. One of my favorite knives. This knife is very very light. Um, the action is just crazy. One of my grails. Top three. Top three grails. Let's put it back. We have a Michael Raymond knife. I love Michael. Great guy. This is uh, his Estrella model. Mokotai thumb stud, Avalon inlay. Ah oh, no, this is Timascus. Um, and the Timascus uh, inlay with really nice holes and the screws in the middle to secure them. And that's a Timascus also, a white Timascus, a clip. That's special. Uh, that, that's not on the original knife. I ordered the clip uh, a couple of months back. Uh, the original clip is a, um, it's also um, Damascus, um, I mean um, Timascus. But I like the carved out clip better, so, you know. Excellent knife, excellent. Let's put it back. It comes with a big box, big box. Okay, we have another. Knife from uh, Michael Raymond, and this is the grooved, grooved one with a stretch. Another integral piece of art by Michael Raymond. Awesome knife. Put it back. A 
another <laughs> Michael Raymond's Estrella. Now you know how much I like the I like his knife. I believe this is my first knife from him with the jigged um, texture. Nice EDC. Full uh, integral. Another Michael Raymond knife. <laughs> this is the last one. Full Mokutai integral knife from Michael Raymond with stretch on top. Beautiful. This didn't come with clip, but it comes with a nice sheath. Perfectly centered. Uh, action is very smooth. Really small. This is a very, very rare Sebenza. Uh, uses um, River of Fire, Damascus, by uh, Bill. I forgot his last name, uh, but very, very rare. I, I believe these are there are only like seven or twelve of these ever made, and will never be made again. Dual tone polished. Lasted. Polished and really nice, nice wood. This is also a special wood. Very smooth action, beautiful. Damascus. Perfect. So, what else? What else? What else? What else? A few more knives and. Uh, we can call it a day off. Three more, actually. And these are my best knives, so I save the best to the last. Bob Tersuola, Ivory, Persian. You don't see a lot of uh, Persian style, a knife from uh, Mr. Tersuola. Nice uh, Mokutai, blasted, and I mean, um, Orange peel textured, nice clip textures also, no screws, screws inside, very thick uh, ivory here you see. This is a very very beautiful um, blade style, very beautiful and it's very very rare. I don't believe seeing, I don't, I, I, I don't believe uh, seeing uh, more than five Persian styles um, from the internet. They're just very, very few. He makes them sometimes just for the show. Perfect different. Everything's perfect on this one. And we have here a Lucas Burnley's Quaken. Flipper. Beautiful flipper. Uh, Mokotai blasted bolster titanium wood grain textured. These are and anodized. Titanium box spacer with skull crusher. That's a special request. Jewel, uh, not jewel, uh, crack eyes uh, texture liner lock and uh, compound grind perfectly centered perfectly packed what a beautiful knife what a beautiful knife feels really good in the hand
last but not least. Sal Manaro. Uh, this is the model Sinner. And um, it's, I, I think he did, he gave it all on this knife. Uh, beautiful polished, high polished stag, sunbar stag, I believe. Hand checkered back spacer. Hand checkered, just imagine that, titanium back spacer. Hand made and hammered uh, pocket clip with a lanyard hole here screwed from inside really cool edged damascus and polished bolster hand checkered again thumb discs and hand polished and rubbed blade this is a beautiful knife it's called a sinner and uh, of its dark color theme uh, suits the knife, it suits the name really good. Beautiful knife. One of the best. One of my top uh, knife in my collections. Guys, I believe that's it. I probably have some other knives here and there, but um, you're seeing about 80 90% of all my knives, so all my custom knives. Um, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, that's a good two hours of your time, and uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, all these uh, years of uh, support, I, uh, I hope. You like uh, these uh, collection videos uh, because it's pretty tiresome uh, doing it and um, like subscribe share and uh, so more uh, people in this uh, knife community will be able to know more about the makers uh, more about their model uh, more about their uh, their styles their names the material they use so um, we can make the uh, the knife community grows a little bit okay so thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time bye